15 Things You Didn't Know About Mini. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello Aluxers and welcome to another exciting original video presented by Alux.com. Today we're revealing some interesting and surprising facts about Mini, one of the most popular and successful British car brands in history. The idea for the Mini was born out of the need for more fuel-efficient cars due to the fuel shortage caused by the 1956 Suez Crisis. Alec Izagone was tasked by the head of the British Motor Corporation to create a proper miniature car that would save on gas and be affordable for everyone. The first Mini, called the Mark I Mini, was officially introduced to the public on August 26, 1959. The Mini was marketed under two names, Austin and Morris, until Mini became the official marquee name in 1969. The car was an immediate hit, and sales took off, not only in Britain, but in countries around the world. The iconic Mini soon became a favorite with a number of celebrities and even royalty, including David Bowie, Mick Jagger, The Beatles, Kate Moss, Princess Margaret, and Twiggy. The Mini Cooper and Cooper S were also successful on the racing circuit, winning the Monte Carlo Rally in 1964, 65, and again in 1967. BMW acquired the Mini brand when it became the owner of the Rover Group in 1994, and although they sold off most of the Rover Group in 2000, they retained the rights to build cars using the Mini name. The production of the original Mini ended in 2000, and BMW released the first of the new generation of Mini vehicles that same year. Modern Mini models include the Mini Hatch, the Mini Clubman, the Mini Countryman, the Mini Coupe, the Mini Roadster, the Mini Paceman, the Mini John Cooper Works, and the Mini Electric Hybrid. If you are new here, welcome! Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. Mini has earned its place as being one of the most iconic, distinctive, and enduring car brands in the world, and it's no surprise that Mini has maintained its popularity over the decades of production. So, let's take a closer look at this incredibly successful car brand with the 15 things you didn't know about Mini. Number 1. The original Mini design was drawn on a napkin. Mini designer Alec Izagone drew the original design of the car on a napkin while dining in a restaurant. The fairly detailed sketch included some notes as well, including the fact that the car should be able to fit into a 10 by 4 foot box. The napkin sketch was used by Alec's colleague to create mechanical diagrams and the design took off from there. Number 2. Kevin Spacey bought the last classic Mini. Kevin loves the Mini so much that he paid $130,000 for the privilege to own the last classic Mini. He also got in a bidding war with Hugh Grant over another Mini Cooper that was auctioned off to raise money for Elton John's AIDS charity. He ended up paying $120,000 for that car. The Minis are his preferred vehicles to drive around in, and he even named his dog Mini after the cars. Number 3. The most people that have ever fit into a classic Mini is 27. The world record for the most people to ever fit in a classic Mini was achieved back in 2014 when 27 people were crammed into a classic Mini model in the UK during the Brighton Mini Run, the annual Mini Convoy from London to Brighton. Number 4. The first electric Mini was created for the Italian job. One of the more recent films that the new generation of Minis was heavily featured in was the 2003 film The Italian Job, starring Jason Statham, Mark Wahlberg, Charlize Theron, Seth Green, and Mo Steff. A total of 32 Minis were used during filming. When production was told by Los Angeles authorities that they would not be allowed to use cars with gas-powered engines in the Metro Tunnel, they had to get creative and ended up producing the very first electric-powered Minis. Number 5. The highest price ever paid for a Mini at auction was $197,000. The most ever paid for a Mini at auction was $197,000, which was the winning bid for the original Mini that won Britain's Rack Rally in 1965 and the Scottish Rally in 1966. After sitting for 30 years, the car was carefully restored to original condition. At the time of its sale, it only had 4,825 miles on the odometer. Number 6. 
the Mini was named as the second most influential car of the century. In 1999, the Mini received the great honor of being named by the Global Automotive Elections Foundation as the second most influential car of the 20th century. The international award for the car of the century was presented after an elaborate decision-making process in which 700 car models were carefully considered. It was ultimately decided that the Model T Ford would take the first place and the Mini would take the second. Number 7. It is the most popular British car ever made. The Mini was introduced in 1959 and 500,000 of them have been sold by 1962. The millionth car was sold in 1965, which made it the first British automobile model ever to sell more than 1 million cars. A total number of 5,387,862 Minis were sold in its production run, with more than 1.5 million of those being sold in Britain alone. This makes the Mini the most popular British car ever made. Number 8. Over 500,000 minivans were sold. One unique body style that Mini introduced in 1960 was the minivan. The panel van was a slightly longer version of the original Mini, with no side windows and a weight of less than one ton. It was an even more affordable version to the Mini, since it was classified as a commercial vehicle and therefore did not require sales tax. A total of 521,494 of the vans were built and sold over the 23 years of its production run. Number 9. Mini Skirts were named after the Mini Several designers have been credited with the invention of the Mini Skirt, but the one most commonly given credit is London-based designer Mary Quant. She says that the skirt was inspired by and named after her favorite make of car, the Mini. Number 10. The Mini was one of Enzo Ferrari's favorite cars. Ferrari founder Enzo Ferrari was a big fan of the Mini. It was one of his favorite cars to drive during the 60s, and reportedly his first Austin Mini Cooper was delivered to him personally by the designer, Alec Izagone. If you want to learn more about the cars and company bearing Enzo's name, click in the upper right hand corner to check out our video of 15 things you didn't know about Ferrari. Number 11. George Harrison had a magical mystery tour Mini Cooper. In 1965, George Harrison of the Beatles had his metallic black Mini Cooper S repainted in red and gold with psychedelic pictures to be featured in the band's film The Magical Mystery Tour. After the film was released, the Mini was given to Eric Clapton as a gift, and he kept it a while before returning it to Harrison, who remained the owner until his death in 2001. His bandmate, Paul McCartney, also owned a Mini, a green 65 Radford Cooper S, which his friend actually crashed when he let him borrow it. Number 12. All the celebrities in their 2016 Super Bowl ad actually drive Minis. Super Bowl ads cost around $5 million for a 30-second spot, so it's not uncommon for companies to try and take advantage of their investment by having a well-known celebrity promote their product. To introduce the Mini Clubmen, Mini didn't just want to hire any celebrities, but ones that actually drive the cars in their personal lives to make an authentic connection with their potential customers. The ad campaign was titled Deffy Labels, and it featured tennis star Serena Williams, American soccer goalie Abby Wambach, rapper T-Pain, former Major League pitcher Randy Johnson, skateboarder Tony Hawk, and actor Harvey Keitel. Number 13. The Mini inspired by Goodwood is the most expensive Mini model. Minis were originally designed to be so affordable that just about anyone could own one, and although their price had of course gone up over the years, they still remain reasonably priced with almost all models having a base price of $30,000 or below. But if you want one of the more high-end models, check out the Mini Cooper inspired by Goodwood. Only 1,000 of these $67,000 models were made in 2011, with the intent to combine Mini's rally car heritage with the luxury of a Rolls Royce. The dash, console, carpeting, and seats are all the exclusive Rolls Royce beige tone. The door handles and control panel are made of walnut, and the exterior is painted a diamond black metallic. Number 14. David Bowie designed a mirror plated Mini. In 1999, London's Design Museum had a celebrity design contest to celebrate the 40th anniversary of the Mini. 
David Bowie's entry was a sleek mirror-plated design that was brought to life in a one-of-a-kind car that was displayed at the museum. Bowie said he wanted to make a car that couldn't be distinguished from its surroundings, and he called the design the Emperor's New Clothes. Bowie was one of three British icons asked to design a mini for the exhibit, the other two being model Kate Moss and fashion designer Paul Smith. The Bowie Mini is now on display at the BMW Museum in Munich. Number 15. They Introduced a Mini Pickup Truck Concept Vehicle In 2014, Mini showed off a unique concept vehicle that was basically a pickup version of the Cooper S Paceman. The small truck, called the Paceman Adventure, has only two seats in the front and a small truck bed in the back. The all-wheel drive vehicle was given increased ground clearance, off-road tires, and a roof rack with lighting on top. This isn't the first pickup created by Mini, though. In fact, Mini started producing Mini pickup trucks in 1961, along with a Mini station wagon and a van Mini. They produced about 60,000 of these trucks in their 20 years on the market. Now that you've learned more about Mini, we'd like to know, which do you like better? The iconic classic Mini or the modern Minis of today? Let us know what you think in the comments. Still here? Here's a bonus fact just for you. We mentioned the Italian job earlier, which heavily featured the new generation Mini. In addition to the first electric Minis, the production crew also made another unique Mini for the film, with two steering wheels, so that a stunt driver could control the car while the actor was being filmed driving. That car is on display at the Mini factory in Cowley, Oxford. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxer. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. If you want more, we handpicked these videos you might enjoy, or head over to alux.com for the best in fine living content on the planet. Be a part of the largest community of luxury enthusiasts in the world and tell your story.